Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and I am the man with the Cartoon Obsession. It's a new year and I'm hoping to keep improving this channel however I can. A big part of that is, of course, making new videos. I'm starting the year off with a video that I would like to have done in 2022, but between the English dub being delayed and my personal life taking a nosedive in the last couple months of the year, that didn't happen. I know I'm very late to the party, but I still wanted to voice my opinions, and maybe there are still people out there who are unsure if this show is worth their time. I'm going to try to answer that question today. Before we get into that though, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take just a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more animation related content. Also, the next video will be the Transformers animated review that I keep putting off, I promise. Without any further ado, I will do my best to answer the question, is Ruby Ice Queendom worth watching? If you're unaware, Ruby Ice Queendom is an anime based on the web series created by the late Monty Ohm. When I first learned about this, I thought it was going to be a reboot or a remake, but it's not. It takes place in the same universe as the original series, but it follows a different story. I've seen the show described as being canon adjacent to the main series, and that term makes sense. I've been behind on Ruby for years now, but I've seen the first six seasons and I was big into it for some time so I was curious about Ice Queendom. I've always wondered what a 2D Ruby show would look like. I thought I would prefer the characters in 2D, but I actually prefer the original 3D models. The 2D ones have grown on me over time, except for Blake. I'm not sure exactly why, but I don't care for her 2D design. It could just be because I've been used to the 3D look for so long. Regardless, I still think the art style is good and the animation is very fluid, especially the action scenes. I think all of the fights are animated beautifully. This show was done by Studio Shaft, who have previously worked on Madoka Magica, another show with amazing action scenes. Given the show's title, the plot unsurprisingly revolves heavily around Weiss, who admittedly has always been my least favorite member of Team Ruby. That being said, I admit that I prefer her arc here to just about any major arc she had in the first few seasons of the original series. The main plot of Ice Queendom shows Weiss trapped in a nightmare after she was infected by Grimm, and it's up to the others to get her out of it. It's a cool plot, and I enjoyed seeing the dream world, but it doesn't offer the kind of world building we would get from the main series. The story also doesn't feel like it's told as well as something from the main series. In the first third especially, I feel like the show rushes from one point to another. Once it gets to the main plot, it stays pretty consistent. It's nice to see a good chunk of the characters from the main series again, such as Penny and Ozpin. Of course, we see plenty of Ruby and Weiss, and Blake, my personal favorite, gets a decent amount of the spotlight as well. Unfortunately, it feels like other characters like Yang and Pira, for example, take a backseat. It's not like they're not heavily featured, because they are, but to me, they kind of feel watered down and more like they're there to move the plot along, rather than being their own characters. I still enjoy what I see of them for the most part, but I just wish they felt a little more important. Villains like the White Fang, Torchwick, and the Grim are present, and they do play roles in this show, but there isn't as much of a focus on them as in the main series. In the case of Torchwick, honestly, I don't think this show would be any different if he wasn't in it. There are characters that I love from the original series who aren't present here, such as Cinder, Neo, and Crow. However, since Ice Queendom follows a different story, I can't really knock it for that. The show introduces a new character too, Xion Zaiden, a nightmare hunter who plays an important role in the series. After all, without Xion, the other characters can't transport into Weiss's dream. I can't talk about Ruby without talking about the music, since that's one of my favorite things about the main show. The Ice Queendom soundtrack is also great. Sure, Jeff and Casey Lee Williams aren't involved with the music on this show, which is a bit of a bummer, but even so, I enjoy it. It still feels true to the Ruby aesthetic. People who are involved, though, are the English voice actors from the original series. Well, most of them anyway, but it's nice to hear the familiar voices. Like I said, one of the reasons I'm so behind with this video is because I was waiting for the English dub. It was supposed to be released in conjunction with the sub, but it got delayed and didn't start airing until the show had already finished. One more thing I enjoy is the inclusion of illustrations after the end credits in each episode. It feels like a neat little bonus, and I appreciate the smaller details like that. As a whole, Ice Queendom isn't quite what I expected. I was expecting something closer to the main series, but in anime form. 
I'm not trying to say this is worse than the main series since it is different, but I will say that I don't feel like it has quite as much to offer in terms of story, characters, and overall enjoyment. However, it does a good job of setting itself apart from the main series, and there's still more good to the show than bad. In fact, I wouldn't say there's anything that's downright bad. Just some things that don't click with me as much as I would have liked. So is Ruby Ice Queendom worth watching? In my opinion, yes. I think there's enough here to make it an enjoyable experience for Ruby fans and maybe even people who are looking to get into Ruby. I can also see reasons why people may not be into it like I mentioned earlier, but since this is a different show, I feel like it should be looked at through a different lens. Of course, keep in mind that this is all just my opinion. Feel free to leave your own thoughts in the comments. Can I help you? I said hands up! Oh, oh are you robbing me? Yes! Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any other cartoons, anime, or other animated works that you want me to talk about in the future, please let me know. After all, it's not my channel, it's our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check out my social media pages, audition for an outro, and join the official Cartoon Recession Discord. The links for all of which are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I'm Paradox. And thank you for watching Cartoon Obsession.